Solar Eclipse Timer users, this is a two-minute app tutorial. For the 2017 United States Eclipse, I had six observing positions pre-planned along the path to have alternatives in case of bad weather. I did site visits to five of those locations. If the 2017 eclipse turned you into an eclipse chaser, let's talk about how to plan for 2024. This tutorial is especially relevant if you live in the path or close to the path and plan to do site visits ahead of time. Go to the internet eclipse maps and scope out some good observing areas. Then plan trips to drive to those areas. Purchase the 2024 eclipse in the app so it is in your list of active eclipses. When you drive to your potential sites, scout out the perfect observing position. Select the 2024 eclipse in the list to load it. Then geolocate by tapping the Get My GPS Location button to get the exact coordinates for that position. Cross-reference the app data with the internet data. Load the times into the timer. Tap to save the Eclipse button to be taken to the Eclipse Local Circumstances screen. All of the crucial data is automatically entered. Type any other information you want to save. Give it a file name and tap Done. It will be added to your master list. So for 2024, let's pretend you had one idea to observe in Illinois at the cross of the paths of the 2017 and 2024 eclipses, or move south for more totality duration at a second position in Conway, Arkansas, or a third position in Sulphur Springs, Texas. Go to these sites and geolocate and save the position. You will now have a record of your three potential observing sites right in the app, and when reviewing your eclipse plans at home, you can reload these sites into the GPS data screen and into the timers and review your notes.